Hey everyone, it's Stephanie here, and today I have a video for my favorite things. This video is part of the summer school event, and for my lesson today, I'm going to be talking about white space or quiet space on a card. And this is just kind of having a focal area on a card that kind of takes up one portion of the card front, and then having a lot of space around it that is just kind of left alone. It doesn't have to be white, um, it's up to you if you want it to be white. It's just an area of the card that doesn't have anything going on, so that you immediately focus on the the one element that you've added to the card. So I prefer to do um, these type of cards on white cardstock. I just really like the look of some type of stamped or die cut element against a white cardstock background. So I'm going to be using white for my card. And I'm going to be starting off with a stencil here. And this is the cow print stencil from My Favorite Things. And I like to use a stencil but use just a portion of it to kind of be the backdrop of what my focal image is going to be on a white space card. So I've decided to go ahead and just kind of mask off an area so that I only get the center part of this cow print pattern. So I'm just using some post-it tape and going around all of the edges of the area that I want to use and just kind of adding this on. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be using black embossing paste and it's very messy and it's really hard to control in one small area without getting it into areas you don't want it. So just using this masking material really helps to keep everything contained in the area you want. So as you can see there, I have my little area that's what's going to go onto the card, the card base. And I actually have a cardstock panel die cut with a um, stitched rectangle that came in the blueprints. I think it's 24 set and I just really like this die. I use it a lot on my cards because it's the perfect size to fit nicely inside of an A2 card and still have a nice border around the edge. So I die cut that first and then now I'm going to go ahead and add this embossing paste. So this is just Wendy Vecchi black embossing paste and I'm just using my spatula knife here to kind of lift it out of the jar and put it back in and just kind of mix it up a bit and this just helps if there's any like dry spots in the embossing paste. This mixing it up just kind of makes sure you get a nice smooth consistency when you add it to your card. So you can see here I'm just kind of taking my time and putting it over the area that's on the card and I'm I have all the post-it tape there, but I'm still making sure to take note of where that post-it tape is so that I don't get the embossing paste outside of the area that I want it in. And then once I have everything laid in there with my um, spatula knife, I like to take a piece of cardstock and just kind of run it over the top just to really smooth everything out and make sure that it's all the same dimension and everything is nice and smooth. So now you can see there I have this great little pattern of black embossing paste, but I did end up getting some a little bit on that side there you saw, and I'll show you in a little bit how I decided to change it up, fix it so that I didn't have that little um, spot on my card front, but not get rid of this piece that I've already done because I really loved how the embossing paste turned out. So I'm going to leave that to the side there to dry and now I'm going to work on the cow image which is going to be the focal image on my card. So this is one of the newer stamp sets from My Favorite Things. Um, it's from a stamp set called The Whole Herd and it's an adorable cow image that I really wanted to use as the focal point. So I just went ahead and stamped that on some white cardstock with the my Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid Ink and I'm just taking some Copic markers and some warm grays and I'm going to go ahead and completely color in the areas of the cow that I want to appear a dark gray slash black. So I'm just kind of speeding through this as I do all the coloring. I started with my lightest color first, added in some a little bit of a darker color and then kept doing that as I went around making it a little bit darker as I went and then using my lighter colors to blend it out. I like to use grays when I'm trying to show the color black just because it allows you to do some shading and kind of build up the color so that you have some highlights and it looks more dimensional. I find if you color straight with black you don't get any of that highlighting or shading and it looks very flat. So now that I have the black areas finished I'm going to go ahead with a lighter gray color and this is a cool gray marker and I'm just going around the edges of the areas of the cow that I want to appear white and this just helps to make that white area stand out even though it is gray if you leave it completely white you it just kind of blends into the background adding a little bit of this cool gray color on the edges is what really makes that white color pop and then I also added some light pink to his ears and just around his nose area there 
um, not too, too much, just a little bit to give a little bit of a pink color to the outside edge. And I also added some of that lighter gray color that I was using in the first place, the cool gray to the area around his nose to kind of blend out that pink a little bit and kind of tone it down. So now that I have it completely colored, I'm happy with all the coloring, I'm gonna go ahead and take the coordinating die and cut him out. And I love for this type of card that I end up with this white border around the cow image, just because he's gonna be sitting on black embossing paste and that's gonna help the black parts of his body stand out from the embossing paste that he's gonna be resting on when I get it adhered. So now he's done, I've let my embossing paste dry, it's all dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this piece down. Um, I would never be able to have a card that has that embossing paste on the side. It would drive me crazy. So I knew I needed to correct it. So I just went ahead and trimmed the piece down so that it was a little bit smaller than the original Blueprints Dynamics rectangle die that I used for it. And what I'm going to do is I cut that same rectangle out from another piece of white cardstock. And I'm just taking my adhesive and adding it to this piece that has the embossing paste on it. And I'm adhering, adhering it directly to that um, stitch rectangle piece that I cut out a second time. And this just keep, keeps that stitch detail that I wanted in the first place. Kind of provides a second layer, so it added a little bit more to the card. But still lets me have the main white area that I wanted in the background. And then I'm just using some foam adhesive to adhere that cow directly to that cow print background. And then he's, so he has some nice dimension and is popped up off of that print. And then to finish the card, I'm just going to take some grout gray cardstock, make it a top folding card, and adhere the entire panel to this card base with adhesive direct to the card. I didn't want to put more foam adhesive since I already had some behind the cow. And then that's going to complete my card. I love having a white space card without a sentiment on the front. I prefer to keep it on the inside. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.